I don't really have to step down, I, I learned. I can start the meeting even though I haven't been elected yet. So I'm looking for someone to move Article 1. Huh? Can I read it? Oh, yeah, we're calling the meeting to order. Oh, we'll wait till Victoria and John get in. <laughs> don't worry, just come in. You're stopping the whole thing. It's my turn. Do you have to read it first? No. No, I'll read it okay. after. Go ahead. Would you like to grab a chair? Uh, there's more chairs, I think, out in the, the lobby. There's so many chairs. Two chairs, chairs, right here. chairs. Move Article 1. <laughs> Do I have a second from Article 1? I second. Okay, Article 1. To elect all town officers, uh, officers as required by law. To elect a moderator for a one-year term ending in 2024. Do I hear a nomination? Nominate Any other nominations? I'll just say at this point, too, I think this will be my last year doing this, so <laughs> I've said that for the past 10 years, but I, uh, no, I, I really would hope that younger members of the community would step up and, and it's, it's a great job. Can I meet with you to possibly do that? Oh, absolutely. I like worried it. So. Oh, absolutely. I'm getting in front of the room. Do you want to throw your name into the... No, not today. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my second time. <laughs> and what's your name? Remind me. I'm Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. Yep. Pretty good. Okay. Look at that case. Can I move that we close nominations if no one else is interested in the position? Yep. We need a second. Second. Who's second? second. Yep. Jim. Yeah, it's on the truck. So what's happened? I read it before. Yeah. Hi. All right, we've got a second. And all in favor of Rogers, the moderator, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, B, to elect a select person for a three year term ending in 2026. I call for nominations. Daniel Sargent. We have a nomination for Daniel Sargent and a second. Who's second? Victoria. Okay. Yeah, yell out or raise your hand. <coughs> I'm not hearing so good these days. I'll nominate Kenny. Kenny Beatty. Kenny? Kenny Beatty? I would second that. Tammy second. Any other nominations for select board? I'd like to, you know, give everybody time to think about this. Um, I have a question, or is that If it relates to the select board, yeah. I mean, the, the selectmen. Can Kenny, can Kenny be? I don't know at what capacity. He, he, he can be a select person and a road commissioner that's appointed by the town. Um, you're the road foreman now? Yes. So he may have to resign as road foreman. But I, I don't know. Well, that's I don't, a, I don't that know. Don't know. Wait. I do have a. Uh, hold on. I got a, 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 a list here that Cheryl. So, road commissioner. Can't be an auditor and can be a selectman. Okay. okay. Um, and would you folks like to say a few words? Move, move that um, nominations close. I'd like to have them speak for a few. Oh, you want? Okay. okay. If that's okay, and then we'll close nominations. Maybe somebody else will hear something and want to run. Okay. Go first, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I think all of you do. Um, I'm Dan Sargent. Uh, I've recently been asked uh, what my agenda is for running for select board. Uh, I really don't have one. Uh, but I have a set of expectations that I have for municipal government. I've always felt that municipalities should uh, facilitate open, honest, and transparent discussions about local issues uh, and foster collaboration between our citizens, the organizations, businesses, and the neighbors of the towns that surround us. Uh, you know, I've 
just in the last 20, 30 years, we've seen a lot of businesses close in this town. Uh, one in particular, the Bull Mill. Uh, that was a major employer in our town. Uh, we've seen our local school close. We no longer have local control over education decisions. Uh, and, and a host of other issues. There's not a lot of opportunity for people to work, live, raise a family here anymore. And I want to see that trajectory change, but that's my opinion. And I'm more interested in hearing what your opinion is. Uh, I've, I've also been asked about uh, how I feel about conflicts of interest in local government. Uh, the town of Granville has a conflict of interest policy that covers that. And it covers situations where municipal officials have to make decisions on family members, issues that affect family members, friends, and business associates. And it's quite simple you recuse yourself from the vote. And it's imperative for municipal officials to do that in order to maintain the public trust. Uh, and that is a policy that should be reviewed by the select board and other elected officials on an annual basis at the very least. Uh, so that's, that's all I have right now. I appreciate your support this evening. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm Ken Meaty. I'm the road foreman for Granville. And I uh, go to all the meetings, most all the meetings. And I know it's on the, the town agendas. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of work to do. And I feel like <clears throat> um, all hands on deck. The more people we can get helping the town in any capacity, the better off you all, we all are going to be. Um, I, we need to address some um, situations with the roads. We need to figure out how we're going to spend the ARPA funds that we're supposed to be getting. Um, there's a lot of work to do. We need to figure out what we're going to do with the gravel. Um, we need to figure out what we're going to do with the fire department, with their renovations. So I feel like doing my part as part of the select board, I can do my part and the rest, anybody else who wants to do their part can help, help the town. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. Can I, can I ask a question? Oh, sure. Yeah, uh, I just, just want to clarify that, that uh, is it your term that is up? That you're not interested in running again, Jen? Not right now. I just wanted to make sure that before we close yeah. the nomination, yeah. that was true. <laughs> I move to take her down, please. We have yes, okay. we, we do. We, the next, in, if discussion and nominations are closed, we need a motion to close nominations now. Close Which nominations. He's, he's already second. All in favor of closing nominations, say aye. 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 Nobody opposed? Okay, so we have to do a paper ballot. Jim. Dan and Ken. And don't forget the snacks in there as you go along. They were good. Sorry, I'm afraid
about to close. Uh, has everybody voted? I guess so. All right, so I guess uh, we'll have a moment while ballots are counted. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Pilots were late for the after hour. Then it had to be the ice in Boston. And I think they had to text the Texas train in 45 minutes. So we're sitting on the plane for two hours. Pilot comes on and says, Pilot comes on and says, this is going to be one of the longest flights from Boston to LA for the prevailing wave. Seven hours plus. Wow. Seven hours plus. So we're supposed to land in LA at 10.30 the late time. Now we're saying that uh, after midnight, and then we are an hour out of LA, and it's like one o'clock in the morning because the pilot comes on and says, oh, we got to revert to Vegas because we don't have any chance. So then we land in Vegas, we so stay on the plane, we get a few months to go. About half an hour later, we come back and say, sorry folks, we timed out, and we're going to have to have everybody take their stuff. Go to the checkers. So we, I, I didn't have any check bags. Oh, <laughs> I didn't have any check bags. So I, I'm like taking mine. I got two agents, and then I can't. I had no idea what to do. But they finally started processing people, and they ran. I got, I got a hotel bag. It was great. Taxi, meal voucher. And they said, don't worry, you're going past from Boston. We'll, we'll let you through TSA tomorrow. Which is not, like, not accurate, you know? So, um, we didn't leave until 2 o'clock in the afternoon oh, God. to get back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, got, I got a hotel. But more than just to go to Thursday. Meanwhile, so it's 3 o'clock. That sucks. Coming back. When was that? Coming back. Two weeks ago. 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 After this trip, Clayton and I were like, so small trips back in the future, like yeah. Miami. Yeah. Out of Miami. Yeah, yeah. Let's, it feels traveling. Let's drive the outer backs. Right, right? Mm -hmm. Maine. I'm all about Maine. <laughs> I don't know if you started because Clayton makes fun of me, but I'm like, I don't know. Oh, it's been a summer of headaches. Let's just go. It's two hours. We're here. On the beach. Yeah. I know. Flying right now seems just terrible. I would agree. It's giving me pause when I'm thinking about my plans. Yeah.
falls short, so if you can't hear me, just yell out and I'll speak louder. <laughs> okay, the votes are in. Uh, Daniel Sargent received 18 votes and uh, Kenny Beatty received 24 votes. So Kenny's our selectman for the next three years. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, 1C, to elect a second auditor for a three-year term ending 2026. And I believe it might be Robbins. It's mine. Right? Is it a conflict of interest? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you'll have to resign. But no, that's no, no, it's not. It's no, not. It's, it's, it's Nancy's. Nancy's, Nancy's, Nancy's term, term is up. Who's Nancy? term is up? Nancy's auditor. Yeah. yeah, that's what we just said. Nancy's oh, Nancy's, Nancy's up. Nancy's oh, Nancy's oh, I thought it was Robin. Yeah. No. No. Oh, okay. That's right. why I said it was a conflict of interest yeah. with Kenny. Right. Yeah. Which means you can't do it. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> All right, so, yes. I nominate Kelly Eckroff. Kelly Eckroff. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Second. Um, Nancy. Any other? Uh, nominees? Do I hear a motion to close? Make a motion to close. Second. Janet? Janet, motion to close and... Martin, seconds. To elect a second auditor for a three-year year term ending 2026, uh, uh, we need a uh, motion for paper ballot. For no. Auditor? No, 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 no. I believe we cast do. one vote. A single, a single well, that's what I'm saying. Person. Yes. Vote for a single. Yeah, I, I, I'll, put, I'll move that we have a, a single ballot. Yep. Yeah. 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 All in favor of Kelly ballot. for auditor? Say aye. No, aye. 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 A single ballot. A single ballot, say aye, and then. then and then you can cast yeah. a single ballot. God, I hope you do this next year. <laughs> 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 All right, we're done. Okay, so we've got approval for the single ballot, and all in favor of Kelly, did we do that already? You just have to cast a single ballot, or Mark does. Okay. Mark, just write it up. Mm -hmm. Is there any objection Mark, to Kelly? Yeah, yeah. Just hold it here and put it up. Okay, congratulations, Kelly. Um, 1D, to elect a second constable for a one-year term ending in 2024. Mark, is there someone that... Yeah, uh, no, I'm like Jeff Lumbrun. Jeff Lumbrun. He's currently. And he's, he's the current person? Yeah, he's and, he, and he's willing to do it again? I'll second yeah. that motion. Okay. Let me grab that. Move to close nominations. Nominations are being moved to close. Any objection? No? Close nominations. All in favor of Ken? <coughs> Ken Lumbrun? No, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, Jeff Lumbrun, say aye. 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 And opposed? Uh, 1E, to elect a delinquent tax collector for a one-year term ending in 2024. Might be better if I hold this up. Presently, it's Nancy. I nominate Nancy Needham. Second. Okay, we have uh, Janet. And who seconded? Tammy. And... Is, is there... Um, so Nancy's not here, and, but we're but we know that she would like to do it again. Is that yes? Yeah. Usually, she'll usually say if she doesn't. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and she's currently our treasurer as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that that's all copacetic. Yes. Mm -hmm. I move nominations cease. Second. All in favor of ceasing nominations? Yes. All right. Aye. Um, if the, if. All in favor? All in favor of Nancy? <laughs> say, say aye. 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 Right. Any objections? 1F, to elect a second cemetery commissioner for a three-year term ending 2026. I'm not sure who's... Scott, oh. Scott, Scott, Scott Sergeant. Scott Sergeant. Any... Scott Sargent's the person who's up. Anybody uh, care to throw out a nomination? Does he want to do it, Sean? He, he said he would. Okay. Yeah. Someone want to throw his name I'll out? I'll nominate Scott Sargent. Second. 
Uh, who seconded? Janice seconded. Uh, someone cease nominations to be closed? I move to close nominations. Second that. All in favor of closing nominations, say aye. 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 All in favor of uh, Scott Sargent, say aye. 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 And opposed? Nope. Okay, uh, before we start Article 2, bring that to the floor, um, how about we hear a report from the select board? Yeah, there's a there's, um, couple reports on page 10 and 11 for the select board and the uh, road commissioner report. And uh, thank goodness this pandemic is over so we can meet in person again. It's getting rough to do it all by Zoom and all, and uh, it's great to be back. We meet every, currently we meet every Monday, or uh, the second Monday of every month at 5.30. Um, next week we'll have a select board meeting. We'll reaffirm that or change that, but um, that's what we have done for a few years. This year we did a full town audit um, with the change of Kathy Warner after 15 years as treasurer going on to Nancy Needham. It was appropriate to get a final um, audit done, and uh, we have done that, and uh, it's a very comprehensive audit. It's probably the best audit this town has done in many, many years as far as professional audits go. Um, We've developed a budget that we'll get into next that uh, really holds the line on taxes. Um, one thing that we are constantly, and Dan talked about this a little bit, is contractors. You know, there's just not that many contractors anywhere in this valley. So we've got our, you know, we've all been driving the back roads and uh, understand there's some challenges of just getting the roads plowed. So I mean, it's, it's, it's been a, a challenge and uh, I don't know where we're headed, but um, we'll do what, what, what we have to do. Uh, this spring, we're going to get a new roof on the leaky roof that's uh, over the town clerk's office. It'll match what we did years ago um, with the town hall. So it'll be standing seam, and uh, um, that's um, all, all set to go. Um, we got a grant, $12,500, to do the windows upstairs, maybe downstairs, depending on how much the uh, uh, proposals come in for. But those huge windows up in the church, I can't believe they haven't blown out yet. But uh, the, that we will be uh, getting bids out and our, our proposals out, and uh, um, hopefully we'll get that all done uh, this, this summer. Uh, we've got about $90,000 in ARPA funds. These are the funds that the uh, federal government gave to all the towns based on population. You know, bigger towns got millions, we get $90,000. We haven't, um, <coughs> we haven't um, uh, uh, decided on what we're gonna spend that on, but there's a lot of projects. We could do paving, we could, um, um, we could uh, uh, do handicap accessibility. We can't really use upstairs unless we have um, either an elevator or a chair rail or something to get people up and down. Uh, it's gotta be handicapped accessible. Uh, the, the fire department or the fire uh, house needs, needs work. Um, we've got uh, all kinds of, of, of various things and $90,000 doesn't go very far, but we've gotta, we've gotta earmark that money um, in the next few months anyway and it's gotta be spent by 26, um, otherwise the feds are gonna claw it back. The, there's a cell tower proposal that's still ongoing up on North Hollow. It's um, uh, in A&R and in the, in, in the uh, contentious stages of, uh, of um, uh, where it is. Um, it is back in the mountains there and uh, um, not sure where that's gonna end up, but they're starting hearings and discovery and you know it's, it's been going on for quite a while. Um, uh, we've got a planning commission that's finally gotten reconstituted. Will Brockhoff has uh, led that one up. Um, as far as our roads go, um, we continue to do what we can, you know, with uh, replacing culverts and, and ditching, ditch clearing. Um, just last year, we did about a half a mile section of North Hollow Road um, and uh, six culverts. We had four, four bids come in on that from under $20,000 to over $90,000. So of course we took the lowest bid and got the work done in two or three days, but that's, that's what we're up against. It, it, it's really tough. Um, there's really a, you know, a lack of contractors in the area. A few years ago we had a guy plowing here from Williamstown and that's a good hour away from here. So you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Um, we really rely heavily on Two Rivers Ottaquichi Regional Commission. They help us with uh, grants, they help us with road projects, doing a lot of the paperwork for that, and um, without them, you know, we would be somewhat lost. Um, 
Road Commission, the foreman positions used to be a small stipend. We changed that last year um, so that now it's actually put in for, for work done. So um, that, that helps us save from having a contractor go out and, uh, and remove trees after a storm or whatever. Um, so hopefully that's going to continue. And <clears throat> the uh, vast association of snow travelers put two new bridges up on Kennedy Road so that now you can get all the way up to the government road. And they've done a great job at no expense to the town. And uh, thank you again to VAST. Um, another big situation that we have is that all the people coming into town, Airbnbs, renters, whatever, they go up on the mountain with their uh, two-wheel drive summer tires and can't understand why they can't get out of the mud or the snow or whatever. And that's another ongoing you know, challenge that we have. Um, you really do need to have decent tires and all-wheel drive a lot of times. Um, the um, snow and ice is always a problem. You know, I get more phone calls about why isn't this plowed? Why is this, you know, uh, when you're dealing with contractors, it's very difficult. So, uh, you know, be patient. Um, I, I expect we're going to have a better, um, a better uh, mud season this year. Last year, it was terrible. It was the worst mud season in the state. But we had 20 nights last January under below zero. This year, we didn't have any nights in January below zero. So the frost, I don't think, got as deep. We've already had a couple thaws. So keep your fingers crossed that April's going to get here, and it's going to be better than it was last year. Um, we would love to have more participation coming to our meetings. People, let us know um, what your thoughts are on ARPA or other issues that are going on, and uh, we'll do the best we can. But again, the only people that we have that are, um, are paid is a part-time town clerk and a, and a part-time uh, uh, town treasurer, and uh, you know that's that's the extent of uh, of our town government, really. So, um, um, with that, I take any questions if you want. And again, I want to thank Kathy Warner for her 15 years plus of uh, town clerk and treasurer part time. And I think both everybody now realizes how difficult and challenging those positions are, and it only gets more difficult as the state continues to put more uh, on both of those positions. So, and Cheryl's doing a great job. And Cheryl's doing a great job, and Nancy's learning and doing a good job. So you know we're we're moving moving forward. So, great. Great. Thanks, Bruce. <coughs> Any other comments about the selectmen's report? Um, I'm looking for a motion to bring Article Two to the floor. I move Article Two. Second. 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 Daniel seconds. Article Two. Shall the town of Granville vote to accept the budget of $388,304 to meet expenses and liabilities of the town and authorize the select board to set a tax rate that's sufficient to provide the same? Any discussion about the budget? It's got to be a first. Say again? I said it has to be a first. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Lou, I can see you're thinking about it. No. Motion to accept the budget. Dan? Just something quick, and I know it's come up in the past on multiple occasions, really. Uh, taking a look at the expenditure report and profit and loss statement, uh, it doesn't give us any kind of a history from what the town has spent, it would really be helpful to us to see how the money is being spent from one year to the next so that we can see the trend. So that's all. Thanks. Michael, I second that suggestion. That's a good idea. It gives us all perspective of it. Yeah. What we're spending and for what, instead of just seeing it go up and up and up and up. If you take a look, if you take a look at the, um, in the in the financials that we have, there is on page um, starting on page nine in the financials, and this the page numbers are not are not great, but um, starting on page nine, you will get the last year's budget and um, what the actual expense was. For, uh, start starts on page 10 with, with most of the line items that follow the budget. This is 
you're talking about page 10 in, within the financial case. What's the book page number? That's not the book page number. It's not, it's not the, <laughs> the financial starts on page, let me see here. Yeah. You go to 17, that starts all the financials, and then if you go, those are differently numbered, and you'll find the actual budget versus um, the budget versus actual expenses for the year, starting on really on page 10 or so. But just an FYI. It could, one of the things that we're challenged with, Nancy, is that we're trying to just get the formatting of some of these reports. And we've been working since last summer trying to get the, uh, the formats ironed out. And it's challenging. It, it does take some time. So. <clears throat> Any other questions or suggestions for the budget? Lou. I have a question about you're saying that you're going to retard the roads and everything? Just, just the uh, pavement that's already existing. Right. Well, last year, you were supposed to do the same thing, the Mastin Hill, but you left a couple of big craters. You didn't fix them. I, I wonder why you did that. Uh, that is, again, because the contractor, we didn't get on the contractor in time to get those couple of holes that are up in the middle. We'll get them filled up hopefully this spring. Okay. But what we, every year we put aside some money for paving all the roads. And we've got about a half a mile of pavement that we need to do at some point. Uh -huh. But that could be used from the ARPA money too. Are we going to change the material for the roads yet? Or are we going to still put on the same thing and get the same ruts and holes that we get every spring? Ken, you want to? We're probably going to have to change the material. Um, considering that the bow mill may not may or may not get their active 50 permit with gravel. So we will have to figure out where the gravel is going to come from. And it's most likely over to Middlebury or over is to- Is that where Rochester gets their material from? Uh, they we went around this already once. Remember? Yeah, yeah. They get their material out of Florence. It's the same. It's a crush line from the white material. So we have to uh, figure, Rochester? Yeah, we're, we may we're be tasked with figuring out where we're going to get our road gravel, and it's going to be a lot more expensive to truck it. Well, to me, gravel. you pay for what you get. If you put down cheap material, you get a crappy job. I was also wondering about the roof. Uh, usually birds and um, jet shingles are guaranteed for 20 years. <coughs> That roof hasn't been on there for 20 years yet. Is it leaking? Which roof are we talking about? No, yeah, excuse me just for a second, Lou. We're discussing the budget. Oh, I'm we sorry. Wanna, we want to say focus on that. All right. So if it's a money issue that's in the budget, you're welcome to discuss. But now we're starting to get into maintenance. So uh, if you have another question about the budget. No? You good? I'm sorry, uh, my hearing's not as good as it used to be. I'm, I'm, are you finished talking about the budget? Yes, I am, because oh, okay. it was the same thing that happened when I was here before. Yes, I, I remember. Um, any other, Kate? Yeah, I, I, have a, I have a question about, um, just, just clarification, uh, line 6030 of the buildings and grounds uh, maintenance. Um, to increase to fix the windows in the church. Can you, can you talk about, about that line, please? We, we, like I said, we applied for a grant from Historic Preservation to do the windows upstairs. It's a matching grant. It's a 50% match grant. We got $12,500 from the state that we need to match $12,500. So we put that in as a placeholder and uh, we'll probably use that. But again, we, we could use some ARPA money also. <laughs> And, and can I ask one more question? Yes. Unless there's someone else who wants to I don't see anybody else. Uh, the, 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 the biggest reduction that I see is, is in the winter sand, which I, I think is fine. I, I see that big pile, but it, it's significant, a $15,000 reduction. We have more sand than we can use <laughs> right now, so. We'll never we get sand again. Sand this year. We didn't buy it. This is still last year's sand. This is what? Yeah. This is last year's. Stra straining really well. 
It's a big enough pile, we don't need that much today. We also have about... I'm thinking about climbing it. <laughs> you might get an ugly. I might. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Any other questions about the budget? Yeah. Michael. Yes, under uh, the Department of Revenue, you have a section called Revenue Management. Yes. Uh, I'm just wondering if you could talk about the Department of Revenue and 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 the Department of Revenue what are we paying? We have the, all the waste is collected in Rochester. What are we What are we paying twelve thousand dollars for? Part of, I don't know if you want to. It, it's part of our membership fee to the transfer station down in South Royalton, where our trash and recycling ends up. We're required and, to be there. And. Plus, it helps defer the cost so that you're not paying the full expense when you bring your trash to Rochester. And, and you may get rid of the trash there. Right. So paying twice for it. Mm -hmm. Right. And we pay, That's a good deal. We pay them $520 a month to come here to Granville to get it once a week. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions about the budget? Mm -hmm. Call the person. Does motion call the question? Second. Two second? Julie? Two second. And all in favor of calling the question, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. <coughs> all right, so let's read that. Sorry for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Shall the town of Granville right. vote to accept the budget? Of uh, $388,304 to meet the expenses and liabilities of the town and authorize a select board to set a tax rate sufficient to provide the same. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Budget passes. And so we're going to move Article 3. Article 3? Is that what you're asking? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. There you go. Okay. Second on that? I'll second it. All right. Shall the town of Granville vote to authorize the treasurer to apply any surplus remaining from the highway budget current physical year into the highway capital investment fund? Well, if there's no discussion, it's kind of a boil. Yeah, Norm. I have a question, Roger. How much have we got in the, in the fund now that builds up every year? How much is in there currently? Built up every year that we have a surplus, and we have had a surplus the last few years. We've got about $60,000 in that fund. Have about 60000 I think if you look, I could find the number from June 30th last year, but then we put another 30 or so into it. So it's about $60,000. About 60000 So if we voted no on this article, the money would go toward next year, would uh, reduce delay, taxes. Uh, defer that amount of taxes. Right. Yeah. Instead of putting it in the highway capital fund, it would go uh, toward uh, credit toward our next year's Right, but that's like our emergency fund too. You know, I mean, if we ever have major washouts and all, it's nice to have some some money in that in that account too. What would plus, be, uh, plus we yeah. don't have, um, you know, we're relying on, on on contractors. You know, and when we're doing a project, if if we think it's going to cost twenty grand and we have the lowest bid is forty grand and that's all we can get, you know, we can use that money to help defray the cost. Thank you. Any other questions about the Town Highway Fund? No. Shall the Town of Granville vote to authorize the treasurer to apply any surplus remaining from the highway budget's current physical year to the Highway Capital Investment Fund? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> it passes. Move article four, someone? I'm okay. Got a second on that motion? Second. Yep. Shall the, town, shall the town of Granville vote to increase the Municipal Building Investment Fund? No, fund not part four. Part four. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> shall the town of Granville vote to increase the Highway Capital Investment Fund in the amount of 6000 for the purpose of repaving the town roads? Michael. Question. 
What town roads? The town roads that are paved. So you've got Post Office Hill, Maston Hill at the bottom, and uh, Buffalo Farm at the bottom. They all need to be repaved at some point. I mean, the closed Buffalo Farm road. The bottom of it's still the bottom of it's still paved. Thank you. Any other questions about the highway capital investment? <coughs> motion to cease. I mean, motion to call the question. Call the question. Second. Shall the town of Granville vote to increase the highway capital investment fund in the amount of six thousand dollars for the purpose of repaving town roads? Say aye. 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 Opposed. The ayes have it. I'll move Article 5. Second. Christian, second. Shall the town of Granville vote to increase the municipal building investment fund in the amount of $5,000 for the purpose of repainting the municipal complex? Any questions about that? Wait. So, what, what's the timeline on this, and how much money is? I mean, do we have an estimate of what that is actually going to be? And are you talking about this entire facility? We painted this end a few years back. You know, it's not in great shape either. But the rest of the building really does need some painting, and it's going to cost us a lot more than that. And we just thought that we would start putting away some money dedicated to painting. Is there is there a, a figure that, that we're we have aiming? No, no, we have not gotten a figure for how much. I mean, to, to to paint the whole building and do it right is a lot more than that. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's why I'm asking. It's a little repair in addition to paint too. So what's that? Some of the wood may. Oh, you know, it, it, yeah. All that, so. But I mean, what's the price on that? Yeah, we don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's not cheap. But we figured rather than coming towards a, a big ask a year or two down the road. And we may have some emergency stuff that needs to be done so it doesn't get any worse, especially in these little courtyards where you've got all kinds of rotten stuff. Any other comments or questions for? A call question. Second. Shall the town of Granville vote to increase the municipal building investment fund in the amount of five thousand for the purpose of repainting the municipal complex? All in favor, say aye. 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 And opposed. Article six. Someone want to move it? Second. Move it. Second. Article 6, shall the town of Granville vote to appropriate $500 to the Corner School Resource Center of Granville in support of its community programs and Wi-Fi service this year? Any discussion? Questions? Uh, I, I'd like to say something. Okay. I was thinking one of you might. <laughs> I just like to say that um, uh, that I hope those of you who have not been in that building will come and visit us when the weather gets warmer. Um, it is actually looking really good. Uh, we really do hope to have some robust summer programming in there this summer. We started doing that last year. We are hoping to have some after school programming in the fall. Uh, but it's not winterized. And so our next step is to try to make it a, a functional building year round. Uh, and we are actively looking for more people to be involved in this community resource center. Uh, would really like to, to help grow the sense of community that many of us felt was lost when the school closed, for instance. And so if you are interested, uh, please, please do let us know. Uh, we would like to have, I mean, it, 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 isn't, it isn't for us, it's for the town of Granville. And we would like to see you there and hopefully uh, make it a space that everyone will want to enjoy. That's all I have to say. Any other questions for Kate? Um, yes, Luke. Are the walls in the building over there insulated? Uh, maybe Mike could answer that because Mike's on the board. Or <coughs> the, the corner 
Chrome School is the only thing that's insulated right now in the Core School. Is I'm sorry, I can't hear you. The only thing that's insulated right now in the Core School is the ceiling. The walls are not insulated. The floors was insulated when we replaced the floors. So um, efficiency Vermont is our, that's our next one of our steps is to get efficiency Vermont to potentially help us out with spray fall, uh, you know, probably blown in cellulose in the walls. Um, there's a heat pump there, so once the walls are insulated, that building really could be used year round. And um, <clears throat> you know, um, as Kate was saying, it's like this, this building is for the community. Uh, May I say something? Sure. If the walls aren't insulated, the paint's just going to continuously peel off the walls and everything on the exterior. It will build up condensation that between the heat that's inside and the cold that's outside. So it builds up condensation. So usually wa uh, water paint won't stick. If you use oil-based paint, it still won't stick because of the fact that the walls aren't insulated. So if you paint the walls, you'll be painting them again another two, three years from now, unless you insulate them first. Yeah, well, you know, we've... Uh, Th thank you, there's, 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 yeah, thank, uh, thank you. Thank there's been a handful of us trying to um, get this building to where it is on a shoestring, and with an awful lot of volunteer help. And um, so, you know, it's, it's close, it's ready to be used, and um, we only heat it when people want it to use it. Right now, still we, feel. We, can't, we can't afford that. Well, I'm sure it might, so do more volunteer work to <laughs> again. We're, everybody's welcome to, to, to join and help us, Lou, to make this a nice place to be in. And in the meantime, we're doing it a little bit at a time. It's taken a long right. time to get it where I it is. I understand that. Thank you for your But for you your, know, like I help. say, if you just paint it, it's going to be feeling we're, we're good. We're not painting it right now. Another but it's three good years. To know. Any other questions? Yes. How, how did they come up with the $500? I'm, oh, I'm questioning if that's I, enough. It, it is, of course. <laughs> well, um, so so let, me, let me explain to you how. So we, we would ask, this, this line item really should belong in the budget where all the other things are that we right. put in the Rochester Library. And, and, um, and, and it, it started out here a while ago uh, just because we, we were new. Uh, but, but it would be my suggestion, hopefully, that next year it will be in with the other good causes that we support. The real reason that we ask for the $500 is because as we seek funding, which we do every year through grants, uh, it's important that people who are giving <coughs> us money can see that the community also supports the project. And that's, that's, that's the function of $500. It is a token amount to show that the people in town are supportive of that building being um, restored, <coughs> renovated, and, and used. Do I hear a motion to amend that amount to $5,000? Call the question. Can we discuss raising it? Can we discuss raising it? Yes, so I think so. so that maybe we yes. give them a better no, he's right. You can do it in the budget. You can do it in the budget line items. No, because it was warned for this. So if all of a sudden somebody was right. in here, so oh, twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Next year we will do your wish. I would like to do. Not yeah. a warned article. I, <laughs> even on a warned article. Yeah, I thought it was not built into the budget. So it can be talked about and amended. Yeah. You know, to avoid controversy in the little building, I think we'll keep it at 5000 I mean 5000 <laughs> <laughs> Where's my bar <laughs> All right, any other discussions on the little building? And yes, Kate and Diane and Mike. Thank you so much for, and also, we've lost some people this year, and I was going to put together a list. You know, of course, uh, Greg Hagerman passed, and Claire Leslie, who owns the house with her husband who just passed, David Leslie. David died two weeks ago, and Claire's on our board as well. But um, at the end, we, if anybody wants to, Charlie. Charlie, yeah. Charlie. 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 Charlie.
yeah. Charlie, Charlie Shanker just died like last week, I think. A couple weeks. A couple weeks ago. Uh, uh, the point being that Claire is on the board. Yes. And, and, and David and David yeah. was it has been a, a huge supporter of that yeah. little school. Yeah. Um, and, so I'm not drifting from the art. And and we are drifting, yes. but yeah. but we do we do oh. fundraise a lot. Huh? Yes, and we work on talking Any other uh, questions for the article six? Yeah, call the question. Call the question. Call the question. Second. And second. Shall the town of Granville vote to appropriate <laughs> Granville in support of its community yeah. programs and Wi-Fi service this year? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Passes. So someone just has to shout out the name. Okay. Second. Okay. And all in favor. I'm kind of you know, avoiding the all in favor of moving it because if you didn't want to move it, you'd yell. Um, shall the Article 7, shall the Town of Granville vote to authorize property taxes to be paid to the treasurer as provided by law in four equal installments with due dates being August 16th, November 6th, February 16th, and May 16th? All November 16th. All 16th. Yeah. Uh, any discussion? Dan calls a question. Dan calls a question. Someone seconded? Kelly? Aye. Yep. All in favor of Article 7, say aye. 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 I can read it again. I'll <laughs> lose <laughs> 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 Article 8. <laughs> <laughs> Article 8. Shall the town of Granville vote uh, that overdue taxes will bear an interest rate of 1% per month or fraction thereof for the first three months and thereafter one and one half percent per month or fraction thereof from the due date of such such tax pursuant to 32 VSA chapter 5136 of the state. All in favor of Article 8 say aye. 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 Oh, there was no discussion, right? We need a lot of it. And there's no, it, it, at this point here, if there's anything, usually there's any other business. Any other necessary business. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. I think it's on our end. Who motioned over there? Janet motioned. All in favor of adjourning. Thank you for coming.